Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, I would like to welcome you to the inaugural uh, session uh, of the American Health Law Association's Idea Champion Award. Um, today, it is my distinct privilege and pleasure to introduce Joanne Lax, who is the inaugural recipient of the Idea Champion Award. The Idea Champion Award is given annually to an individual who has helped to advance inclusion, diversity, equity, and accessibility, or IDEA, in the health law profession through their leadership in and commitment to the association and the health law community. Mm -hmm. There are a number of criteria for the award, the award and I won't read all of them, but uh, significantly, this the individual who is chosen for the award will have improved idea among underserved populations or healthcare systems, use their commitment to idea to positively impact individuals and organizations, advocate for innovative approaches and best practices to ensure that idea is practiced in the health law profession and inspire leaders to adopt idea principles into their organizational structure. I think Joanne exemplifies all of these uh, characteristics and more in the words of those nominating her, Joanne demonstrates empathy and respect for her clients, colleagues, and those in the health law community, valuing their unique experiences and backgrounds. She recognizes that promoting diversity and inclusion is an ongoing process, and she remains committed to learning and adapting to the evolving needs of the community. She actively works to build a strong and united health law community that is welcoming and supportive of all its members. Also, in the spirit of AHLA's ongoing efforts to involve more member volunteers in the association and to increase transparency about the selection process and promote the accomplishments of award recipients, we sought nominations for this award from the membership. A judging panel of AHLA member colleagues reviewed and evaluated the nom nominations. We would therefore like to thank the members of the panel for their time and insights. These include Carrie Burnsed from West Hartford, Connecticut, Kim Looney from Canelf Gates in Nashville, Tennessee, Emily Way from Way West Dispute Resolution in Glendale, Colorado, Shanur Lada Carmeli from the University of Central Florida College of Medicine in Orlando, Florida. Joanne, we sincerely thank you for your commitment to your clients, AHLA, the association's idea efforts, and the health law community. We'd now like to hear from a few of Joanne's colleagues. And first on my list is Jennifer Evans. Thank you, Trish. I am so excited to get to be doing this, except I wish that we were all in the same room, Joanne. Um, but I am the, the current chair of the Membership Inclusion, Diversity, Equity, and Accessibility committee. And so as a member of that committee, got to see Joanne's work firsthand. And I had to get written down all the wonderful things Joanne has done because my memory is not adequate to be able to say it all. But let me remind those of you who, um, who may also have that issue about Joanne's long history of service to the American Health Law Association. She's been a member for almost 25 years. She was the chair and the vice chair of Post-Acute Long-Term Services or the PALS practice group. She's been a liaison to many practice groups and contributed to the Diversity and Inclusion Committee. She was also a member of the nominating and mentoring committees of the board, which is how I got to meet her as my mentor. Uh, at, as While serving on the board of directors, um, she served on executive education and practice group and special counsel committees as well. But it was really as chair of the Membership Inclusion, Diversity, Equity, and Accessibility Committee um, that she was so impactful. She uh, helped us change the name uh, to include accessibility so that now we have a nifty new healthcare acronym idea, which, you know, everybody gets an acronym in healthcare. Um, but she has facilitated efforts to reimagine our awards and recognition program, making it more open and inclusive. Joanne invited representatives from specialty bar associations to our table and encouraged HLA to include a session on unconscious bias in orientation and the training program for HA leaders. She also played a key role in helping AHLA 
understand the importance of including disability in the scope of IDEA. The inclusion of people with disabilities in the delivery of legal services, which was an invitation only round table, really came to fruition because of Joanne's vision and her planning. So I got to nominate Joanne and I did so not only because of her long history of service to HLA, but because she is such an inclusive leader who really promotes all of IDEA with the Health Thought community. She was the first person that came to my mind when the idea of this award was announced. She is and has been a fierce advocate for equity, working to eliminate disparities and ensure that everyone has access to the same opportunities and resources. Joanne uh, is such a valued mentor and role model to many, many folks in our association, including me. It's such an honor to recognize her accomplishments, her service to her clients, the community, health law, and also her commitment to HLA. So thank you, Joanne. I think next is Mr. Shorter, Tom. Fantastic. Thank you for those comments, Jennifer, and thank you for the overview. Joanne, congratulations. First and foremost, I, um, I had a big smile come across my face as I saw that you had been um, presented with this award. It is so deserving. I think back um, to when you joined the board and to all of the time that you spent in helping us develop what I see today as our current um, idea strategy and all of the work as Jennifer outlined is, is just really scratching the surface. Um, and I appreciate uh, most how you went about doing it, the way you participated in our board meetings, the way you um, helped us help guide our hand as an association. Um, and in many ways, um, having had the absolute pleasure of being able to sit next to you in many of those meetings, how it would come with some keen wit and a little bit of wry humor. <laughs> it's just absolutely fabulous. So I um, congratulate you heartily. And um, I also will tell you that I continue to smile and laugh uh, and see how your impact uh, continues to touch everyone. Um, and for those who are not reading the cranky retiree, by gosh, you are missing out. Uh, football is better than you, <laughs> better than you indicate, I will, I will say. <laughs> but con congratulations, Joanne. And it's, it's, I'm really excited for you to be um, presented with this award. Thank you, Tom. Thanks so much, Tom. Um, next, uh, I think we'd like to hear from Jennifer Hilliard. Uh, Jennifer, I think you're on mute. Thank you, Trish. Joanne, no one is more deserving of this award than you. Um, you not only talk the talk, but you back up the talk with your demonstrated actions over the years. And I just wanted to um, take a moment to say how much, you know, our relationship has benefited me and benefited leading age for when I first met you and also AHLA. Um, I first met you, obviously, when um, you were uh, on serving on the legal committee for Leading Age, and I was a staff member back then. Um, and then when I went to private practice, you served as such a valuable resource and mentor to me. And I can't be alone in that assessment. I've heard the word resource and mentor from just the, the the previous three people that we have that have um, had kind words for you, um, I know that through your practice, no matter how busy you were, how uh, many things you had going on in your life, you always made time for the important things, which were you know relationships with your colleagues and the associations that meant so much to you um you know that that's what that's what makes you such a very special person and i am just honored to be able to call you both a colleague a mentor and a, most importantly a friend thank you thank you jennifer 
Thank you so much, Jennifer. Uh, next, we have colleagues of Joanne's from, uh, I'm not going to get the accent right here. Is it Dykema or is it Dykema? Dykema. Dykema. Okay, thank Dykema. you. Uh, including Kathleen Reed and Eric Klein. Hello, um, I'll start. My name is Kathy Reed, and I am a senior counsel in the healthcare practice group at Dykema. And I just want to thank, um, on behalf of all of us at Dykema, thank AHLA for the opportunity to say a few words about one of our most esteemed and favorite colleagues, Joanne Lax. And I think I'm going to echo what we've already heard um, from many other people, but anybody who's worked with Joanne knows that she's just both a remarkable person and a very gifted attorney. And this award, we think, is a well-deserved well recognition of both those attributes. Um, since 1978, the attorneys at Dyke Magasset and our clients have been the grateful beneficiaries of Joanne's remarkable capabilities. And for me personally, Joanne has been a teacher, a mentor, and a friend for all 34 years of my legal career. I cannot imagine pre having practiced law without, um, without Joanne. Um, she taught me and other once young lawyers really how to do exhaustive research, how to analyze and integrate all the issues and aspects of complicated legal problems, and how to write in a really clear and compelling fashion. I have to say that her capacity to remember details and analysis from projects that we had long ago completed is absolutely legendary at Dykema. I don't think that the firm has a search engine that can match Joanne's memory. Um, <laughs> it's amazing. You're a legend, Joanne. Um, I feel like Joanne approached the practice of law with a positive, persistent, sort of can-do attitude that I really found uplifting when working with her, especially on issues that were difficult. And we know that Joanne spent most of her legal career working on those very difficult issues in healthcare that have to do the right, have to do with like the right and the well-being of individual healthcare professionals, patients, parents, and minors. And if you know Joanne, you know that she has a real heart for the underrepresented and the, and the disadvantaged. And what I saw was that over the years, she really inspired everyone with whom she worked to consider the full measure of these individuals' interest when we're developing solutions to uh, clients' complex legal problems. The combination of Joanne's compassion and her remarkable capabilities as an attorney made her a real formidable advocate for those interests that probably would have otherwise gone overlooked. Um, Joanne, I just want to congratulate you personally on recognition of your accomplishments and also um, uh, turn it over to Eric Klein, our mutual client, who'd like to say a few words too. So I'm Eric Klein. I'm a member at Dykema Gossett and I head up our uh, healthcare practice group. And like Kathy, I've, I've had the pleasure of working extensively with Joanne over the years and echo her sentiments about Joanne as a mentor, teacher, colleague, and friend. Uh, given the depth and complexity of practicing healthcare law, I was always in absolute awe of Joanne's ability to retain tremendous amounts of information, um, analyze all aspects of really complicated legal issues, and always come up with you know clear and creative solutions for clients time and time again. I just remember I would you know research hours and hours on end and come down to the office and come up you know with my research and she would be like oh yeah I already know all that you know it's like you know tell me something I don't know. Um, but while she's always been a phenomenal attorney, she's also a truly wonderful wonderful person who has always uh, genuinely cared about others, whether it's her clients, colleagues, um, or friends. I really do have such fond memories of the days when I could walk down the hall to brainstorm a legal issue with her and then spend the next half an hour to an hour just talking about what's going on in each other's lives. Um, she was one of the few individuals in the office who was genuinely interested in what was going on in my life and in my kid's life. Um, for me, she was one of the influential attorneys who led me to come to Dykema over 17 years ago and for me to stay here. And I'd like to really thank her for that. So on behalf of all of Dykema Gossett, I would like to express our gratitude to HLA for recognizing Joanne's remarkable legal career and to express our heartfelt congratulations to Joanne. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kathy and Eric. Um, next on my list is David Cade. Is David here? Oh. 
David may not be here at the moment. Um, I, I have. Got, yeah, I think David got held up at the uh, eye doctor. Oh dear. <laughs> um, are there others? It looks like Cindy. Looks like you have your hand up. Would you like to say a few words? Can you hear me? Okay. Yes. Okay. My my technology skills um, have not gotten any better since the last time I was on a big Zoom call like this. Um, just very quickly, um, I'll get my camera on. I I wanted to extend my congratulations to Joanne and also my appreciation as well for the the years we served together on the board. Um, you you uh, sort of inspired me in ways to um, kind of continue to follow and and enhance my own interest in in um, idea. And you know that was one of my goals as president was to focus on that. Um, and I think I have you as a big reason why I did that. I just was, um, you know, so impressed by everything you did and and how much you accomplished in your career. And um, we do miss you as a as a practicing attorney. I don't know that you and I ever actually crossed paths on matters together, but it was certainly great to be with you all those years and to practice at the same time as you did. And um, I think you are a, an incredible role model and. Um, I think AHLA is better because of you. And um, I just wanted to say congratulations. Well deserved. Thanks so much, Cindy. I don't know how to lower my hand, but I'll find it. <laughs> uh, there it is. Okay, it's down. <laughs> well, I've got a couple of um, comments I wanted to make, and then we'll see if um, others also would like to join uh, the party here. Um, I think that I first met Joanne when she served on a panel for an AHLA HIT conference um, in 2013 after the HIPAA Omnibus final rule was published. Joanne was one of four women on a panel addressing how they envisioned the final rule might impact different sectors of the healthcare provider community. Joanne provided insights into how the post-acute care sector might be affected by the new rule and the challenges that it might pose for skilled nursing, assisted living, um, home health and hospice and the like. Um, I was incredibly impressed by Joanne's ability to speak from memory for at least 15 minutes on the practical effects of a new regulation and its interaction with other related technical healthcare law requirements um, related to the post-acute care industry. Joanne was so articulate and so poised. And I just, as I had my stack of papers in front of me for my moderating duties, I thought that is so amazing. Um, I saw Joanne at AHLA meetings after that, of course, and then had the pleasure of serving with her on the board of directors. Joanne always listened carefully during our meetings. And when she spoke, she always had an important and often novel point of view to share. In many instances, Joanne envisioned solutions or a path to a solution that others did not. Her passion for her work with couples seeking adoption, surrogacy, and assisted reproductive technology was evident when she spoke about it, as was her interest in assuring equitable access to opportunities within H AHLA for members of historically underrepresented groups. Although it must have been frustrating for her to try to navigate AHLA's website uh, back in the day when it was not close to being optimized for individuals with visual impairment, I recall her offering only practical comments in an effort to assist the association in addressing that concern. She brought a great deal of enthusiasm to her work on the board, and in particular as a member and then chair of the board's M IDEA committee. It's already been said, but I too cannot think of an individual who is more deserving to be the first recipient of the Idea Champion Award than Joanne. And I'm so excited for you. Congratulations, Joanne, and thank you for everything you have done and been to those of us at AHLA. Thank you. Would anyone else like to say uh, a word or two uh, in honor of, or just thanks to Joanne? I'll just say a few words. This is Carrie Hogard, Joanne. Um, I was a staff liaison, um, worked with Joanne a lot on the diversity council, um, then it became diversity and inclusion and uh, the membership, and then the membership inclusion, diversity and inclusion committee. 
but all through the time I have immensely enjoyed working with you. You had high expectations. You were super organized, uh, always had a sense of humor, kept the work going. Um, and I am just so appreciative of all that you contributed to AHLA. And I really am pleased that you have been awarded for this honor. Thank you, Carrie. Well, I don't know if David has been able to join us, so I will issue a, a final call for other comments or well-wishers. I'll um, chime in if that's okay, Trish. This is Asha. Yeah, it, it is, and I don't know if you are on an iPhone, but there's there are two hands up, so please go oh. ahead. Yeah. Oh, I don't think so. I think I'm just on okay. one, but you never well, know. Then someone else is interested, so I will. That they can co go after you. Okay, you never know what I could be up to with my technology. Um, Joanne, I really am going to keep it brief, and I'm sure everybody's like, "That's not possible for Asha." But everything has so many great things have been said. I can only second them. Um, but wanted to just issue my own true thanks and gratitude. You know, for me personally, not just for all that you've done for the board and the DNI Council and Idea and all these fantastic things that we can all sort of inherit and keep, you know, keep alive. But just personally, I was new on the board and you were my friend. Um, and I had, you know, there's of course many friendly faces, but you really made a point to spend time with me and to remind me that I belonged and that I had value and had a lot to offer. And, and that meant a lot and has stayed with me throughout my service on the board and now is in the presidential role. So I just wanted to mention that to you. Now it's something I could mention in, in private as well when we next meet, but just to, to have this moment together is um, special. And I wanted to just go ahead and raise that on the personal note, in addition to everything we've already heard. So thank you. And again, congratulations on such a well-deserved honor. Thank you so much, Asha. Um, is there someone on an iPhone who has a hand up and would like to speak? That would be me, I think. Thank you. This is Daniel Sternthal, and I'm driving down the freeway in Houston, Texas, so I've got the camera off. Um, I, I, you know, there's been a bunch of folks who speak more articulately than I do, but I'm just so happy to be able to be here and, uh, and listen to these wonderful things that people are saying about you, Joanne, and brings back memories of conferences. Uh, and so you brought so much joy uh, to, to, to me professionally and personally. Uh, you always made me feel included at the conferences. Uh, I, I feel like you epitomize so much of what's great about AHLA. And I just wanted to say to you directly, thank you so much for uh, having such a powerful impact in, in my life. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, Joanne, I also wanted to let you know that Amy Leopard uh, chatted so that she is traveling, but sends you her sincerest congratulations and some ribbons, bows, and hugs. <laughs> and Joanne, at this point, I, I hope that you've heard just how admired and respected you are among your colleagues and friends and was wondering if there were there was anything you would like to share. Well, thank you, Trish. And Thank you to AHLA. I, I am, of course, extremely honored to be the recipient of this inaugural award. I think more than that, though, I am just so honored and touched that so many of my AHLA colleagues are here. And of course, the wonderful kind things that you guys have said. Uh, I have always felt that my AHLA colleagues were, were like family to me. And this is like a big, warm family hug, even though it's virtual. So thank you all so much for the award and for everything you've said. I, I also think I'm really honored and privileged to be associated with an organization like AHLA that values inclusion, diversity, equity, and accessibility as much as it does. Not every organization has an award devoted specifically to that, but AHLA does, and it shows that AHLA really means what it commits to on paper. When I started in leadership uh, at AHLA, we were in the beginning phases of working on inclusion, diversity, equity, and accessibility. And over the years, I think we've made some tremendous strides. We've turned commitments into concrete action steps uh, with the help of a lot of staff people, particularly Carrie. Big shout out to Carrie. 
Um, and then we turned it into measurable successes. So I'm, I'm proud to have been part of that work. Um, I thank AHLA for continuing it and continuing to have its commitment to IDEA. And I'm, I'm certain that all of you, members, leaders, staff, will continue to make big strides in that area. So again, a big thank you to AHLA, to everybody on this call, to the membership. I, I'm just so honored and pleased. Thanks, Trish. Joanne, thank you. That means a lot to hear, um, you know, I'm sure from the AHLA perspective. And we are, um, those of us here on the phone are all fans of yours and just are, are so thrilled for you. You are thank truly you. deserving of this award. And um, we celebrate you as AHLA's inaugural IDEA champion. Thank you so much, Trish. You bet. Well, thank you all for joining us today and celebrating Joanne. Uh, hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and weekend. Thank you. Congratulations, Joanne. Thank you.